Today I wanted to talk about volume pedals and their placement in the signal chain. And primarily we're going to take a look at a volume pedal before a gain pedal and after a gain pedal. And uh, the gain pedal is what gets affected the most with volume pedals. So I'll try to demonstrate what are the advantages and the sounds you can get having the volume before your gain stage and then after. So my signal chain is I have a tuner first, then the volume pedal, then I have the daily driver overdrive, and then delay and reverb. So having the volume before the drive pedal acts as if we're rolling back the volume on the guitar in a way. So by turning the volume down, we're lowering the level going into the drive pedals. So what it's gonna do is clean up our sound in, in some ways and turn down the volume. And as we turn it up, we're going to feed more signal into the drive pedals. So the pedals will react closer to what we have here on the guitar. So we're turning up and down the source of the sound going into the drive pedal. So here's how that sounds like. Okay, so now let's try the swell effect. So we have our volume before our drive pedal and we're gonna swell into delay and reverb and hear what that sounds like. So that was the volume into the gain pedal as I turned it up and I tried to swell into the reverb and delays. It was pretty good but the gain started low and went into full gain as we turned up the volume pedal. Now having the volume pedal after the drives we can have all the gain right away and we can control basically the master volume of our gain into effect like delay and reverb. So let's hear how that sounds like. So that's the volume after the drive pedal. So we're getting a very thick sound and we're fading that up into delay and reverb. And that creates for a much better, thicker swell in my opinion. And I prefer uh, the volume after the drives because you could do stuff like that. And you're not kind of bringing the gain into the pedal. You're actually controlling the volume, the master volume of the drives into the delay and reverb effects. In my volume tuner mods, the Dunlop Mini volume pedal and the Ernie Ball volume pedal, I specifically leave the input of the tuner and output separate from the volume in and output so that you could place the pedals anywhere you want in the chain. You can go into the tuner first, then go out of the tuner into drive pedals, and then come back to the volume if you'd like. Or you could just go from the tuner into the volume pedal if you want the volume before your drives. Um, I'd recommend the tuner going first right out of your guitar because you want to cleanly tune your guitar and not have to worry about overdrives or fuzzes um, messing up with your tuning. I hope you guys learned something from this uh, little demonstration and you can experiment 
placing the volume pedal anywhere in the chain and seeing how it works, how it sounds like, and understanding what kind of sounds you're trying to achieve and the effects you're trying to go for. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.